Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you, chaps? It's gonna be a squeeze. Wait. It's fine. <laughs> okay. How are you? How's it going? Good. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Where should I sit? And hey, I'm Asher. Nice yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Adrian, the Adrian, uh, producer. Adrian. Aren't you like a famous uh, singer? Asher? Asher? Oh, that's Asher. You think of Asher? There's Usher, there's Asher Roth. Oh, I'm neither of those. Oh. Take it away, dude. Uh, I guess I am leading. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. Like, so I, I made a game called Threes. Uh, oh, wonderful. You've heard of it? Oh, of Are course. you kidding me? <laughs> cat, cat Threes, I played it every day. Really? Cat Threes. Oh, cat. No. Yeah. You play uh, Cat Threes? Yes, all the time. You know it's a clone of my game. Yeah, well, that, that that's what I I got familiar with. I I I, I legitimately downloaded from web store. Yeah, and, I understand. Uh, Where did you, how did you hear about Cat Threes? Uh, my my friends recommend me to check it out. Did they say check out Cat Threes? They said check out Threes. Cat Threes. They said Cat Threes. <laughs> Sorry, it's I'm okay. sorry, but it's totally but, uh, okay. But uh, but uh, what I like most about the game is a concept. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that's that's what I. <laughs> if you that's know, what you uh, want to hear. Oh, uh, it hurts. <laughs> oh my god, because there, yeah, no, there was this whole conflict that happened. Um, yeah, sorry. No, it's because we you know we spent like a year making the yeah. game and polishing up and adding all these. Stuff oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah um, and then we released it, and there's just. Clones, just lots and lots of clones all over the place, including Cat Three. Yeah, that's that. that's uh, that's our common disaster. Right. So unfortunately, main mechanics uh, are yeah. not protectable. So, right. Uh, yeah. No, I'm. And right. we need to make make a much better job in decorating the game or whatever. Right. As we usually do. So we have assassins for that. Oh yeah, that <laughs> is that what you call is that we call the Tetris Company? <laughs> I am the Tetris Company. Oh, you, are you are the Tetris Company? <laughs> kind of. That's awesome. I was so scared of you. No. Uh, yes. No. 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 I made I uh, the game. So before threes, I made a game called Puzzle Juice. Puzzle uh, Juice. It's a much smaller game, much less critically acclaimed, but it was it's a mix of Tetris and Boggle at the same time. Boggle. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it's a it's a word game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So basically, you play Tetris instead of the lines going away. Uh, they form letters, and you have to find words in the letters to spell it. The the first attempt was done by Spectrum Holobyte by Wordris. If you Wordris. 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 Yes. I mean, basically, if you show it to your friend and your friend says that's Tetris, yeah, yeah. then you have a problem with right. us. But if your friend says, "Wow, that's an interesting new game," then <laughs> we're cool. Yeah, no, no, it's very it like totally feels totally different. Yeah. All this stuff, you know, but you know, I ba like it's uh, I I call it to legitimize it uh, in. Intersectional innovation, where you take two different concepts and you just sort of shove them together, and then you make a new concept, mm -hmm. and that's sort of like what it was. <laughs> I see. Like I said, if your friend says it's Tetris, then <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> I just and, have no uh, reason to. And your did you do your game before 2048 or mm -hmm. after? Uh, I did a base 2048 is, is is a clone of, of a clone of a clone of my game. Of your game, I see. Which which version did you play? Did you play it on the internet or on your phone? On my on my phone. Yes. All right, the phone. If, iPad. Yeah, the iPad one, like from the App Store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that that word version is a clone of a game that a Italian kid, 19 years old, made and put online. I see. And that one he put online was just it blew up, became oh, famous. Yeah. And then someone somewhere just took his code, wrapped it up, put an ad at the bottom, and sold that on. What iPad. do you think about 2048? Uh, I mean, I think it's. It's definitely a different game. Like it's, yeah. it's similar. Okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of. I have a lot of emotions about, like a lot of feelings, because it's because okay. I'm new with this game industry. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's yeah. uh, it's professional conversations. So, yeah. so I, I I really think. What do you think about it? I, is it uh, compared to threes? I think it's less interesting because as like because okay. I really okay. believe in interesting okay. deep game design yeah, that you can yeah. play over okay, and over again okay. forever. And 24-8, you like you win, or like it's pr very easy to get there, and there's a derivative strategy and all this stuff. And, and it's very, very minded game rather than emotional game as as three. So I really pre uh, I am very good in 2048, mm -hmm. but I really prefer to play your game. Oh, actually. thank you. Yeah. That means a lot because that's really what I care about. Like I know, like and you know, 20 uh, I, I I I say it not to make you agreeable. It's just true. Oh, okay, yeah. that's that's. <laughs> like, uh, thank you. And he got me to play. Oh, really? We don't meet very often, but when he when we do meet, mm -hmm. he introduces me to the games that he's playing lately. Because I, yeah. I am so busy with other things now. I've been in the game industry for thirty years. Yeah. That, that now I, 
I don't actually play games on my phone, but then when I meet him, he says, oh, you got to check out this new game. And then he gets me hooked on another game. Yeah. Well, you know, 2048 got, you see how popular it got? Yeah, it is. Because because it's kind of, it, it remind it, it gives the illusion to people that they could figure it out. Yeah. And made it, make it. And right. That, and that's a very good teaser. You should kind of think about uh, it. No, absolutely. <laughs> no, in, a per in a perfect world, I made threes and also 2048. Like, yes, I was yes, some yes, books. Yes. I'm totally happy with that. <laughs> 2048 became this, like, cultural icon like everyone was talking about. Oh, right, maybe, so. maybe. <laughs> I think they're going to die earlier than threes. But, really? But we, we will see. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel when you see people playing Tetris that you just don't know, you've never seen them? Recently? Well, it's it's been a while. Yeah. I got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Basically, I I, uh, I could say that I'm kind of missing the moment when when it's a kind of small hall with about kind of, kind of three, four dozen of people who really, really kind of involved in it. And uh, it's a commentator who says what's going yeah, yeah, on yeah. on the screen. So some kind of this environment. I don't, I don't pretend to have a big stadiums or whatever. Right. Or, but, but the fact that the game is so private now. You just sit with your screen. It's that's what I feel. It's not oh enough yeah. for me at that point. That makes sense. Have you gone on YouTube and watched people like speed play it? Like, oh like yeah, thousand yeah, miles per hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that, that's uh, that's usual. We've seen those <laughs> yeah, those but, Japanese yeah, uh, boys yeah. on 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 arcade machine. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> but if you spend kind of eighty hours a week for several weeks doing nothing but that, mm -hmm. so. Actually, I think they did a lot more than that. Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably, yeah. But still, but still, it's uh, hours of happiness, I would say. Yeah, and here's the, here's the difference, you know. The most games go out of style mm -hmm. before you can put in the 10,000 hours. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, those games are, are history. Mm -hmm. And then all of your skill is, like, gone to waste. Um, so, but, but Tetris is still around. If it's you were good at Tetris 10 years ago, 20 years ago, right. you could become good at Tetris again now, and it's still there, and it's still a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, but so Tetris is this icon, but it came out before like people understood video games. You know, it came out in this great, like, I mean, not that's no, no, that's not true. Well, it depends on, you know. Listen to me. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm a child. I don't know. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just walk through the hall, yeah. and I stop by what do you think what? Pac-Man. Batman. Pac-Man. Oh, pa Pac oh Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Oh. They have entire screen trying to sell to whatever. It's it's still alive. It, it's game written before Tetris. Yeah. 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 And I try to tell the guy the story about my friend who who wrote Pac-Man one more time just to be sure that it's there is no alien uh, intellect uh, intellect behind <laughs> the game because in his code there is no AI you know oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, alien, <laughs> alien eye, you know? okay okay so, that is true I, so I'm not you know but but if you go back in history so the first game that I played a lot was Space Invaders right and I, when I was and living in Japan was at the time it was huge game, huge oh, yeah. Uh, game and this was like what late 70s or early yeah, eight, yeah. early 80s late Very 70s early 80s. so it predates what we did as an arcade game it's before personal computers yeah. existed well in Japan anyway and uh, so there's a succession actually I played uh, Space Invaders then Galaxian the next one was going to be Pac-Man so it was like the third game and all my friends including my father uh, went to Pac-Man I said you know what I spent way too much time on the last two. I'm not doing this. Do you think Tetris, if it came out now, would still be what it is? Like, because it's because it, when it came out, it was a big fish in a small pond. But now, like, there's. I so think it much. might it, it might go the way of your game. Mm -hmm. See, I was able to go to Moscow, get the rights to to Tetris, bring it back, and get an 800 pound gorilla to protect the rights right. worldwide. Nintendo. Right. I mean, this, uh, you know, anybody tries to copy this game will squash you. Mm -hmm. And it's like, whoa, okay, fine. And so the game was protected early on and it's registered, trademarks registered, uh, the uh, copyright, and uh, it's all protected around the world. And that's harder to do now because you can't predict 
if a game is going to be that popular, mm -hmm. by the time it's that popular, it's already being copied. And then when you, you know, get to the point where you've registered everything everywhere, mm -hmm. then it may be going down already. So, you, so the question is like, do you really want to spend the money, the time, the energy right. to do that today? And then it's difficult. It's impossible to know because we didn't know Threes was going to be successful so we didn't bother yeah cut, like you know protecting yeah it. <laughs> you know, i should admit that in these days if you take my original version or kind of traditional version it looks a little bit old-fashioned mm -hmm. nobody produce yeah that's that's, that's how original, my that's, 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 this that's is it. how this my the original looked, Tetris right here lo looked like yes exactly I, we didn't have graphics at all that yep. was just Text symbols graphics. That was just the symbols. Yeah. <laughs> Big shirt <Yeah>. for today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 10 by tw 20, it's too big, too big of the play field for modern <laughs> player, you know? So totally right. <laughs> starting from level 1, go to level 10 or 20 now. So, so probably the, the game, in order to be successful today, starting from scratch, mm -hmm. it, it should be much more adjusted probably <laughs> probably the version we worked recently with the seven by yeah, yeah you yeah. made a smaller field yeah the Ooh. smaller field yeah is that good i don't <laughs> like it no 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 I, I i i could barely accept it but 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 something like the uh some some adjustment like that had had to be made but right but still it's very visual game and and frankly we don't see too many games with the real real kind of creative constructive spirit in it mm -hmm. so tetris is one of this game at least produce that illusion you know so so probably the game had a chance if it will be readjusted right that would be my answer i mean i'm just trying to predict my future is all I'm trying to do. <laughs> Does chess has chance in modern world? Oh, that's to, to be originated. I know they have to put characters in you it. Don't <laughs> somebody, somebody you don't me. know answer on yeah. this question. Well, will it outlive Tetris? That was a question that somebody asked me, and, and I said, well, just look at the game. Chess is a medieval game. Mm -hmm. I mean, every part of it, the bishop killing the knight and the knight taking the rook, and that this is all medieval concepts. And, and here we have Tetris, which is squares. We are never going to run out of squares. Mm -hmm. it's, they're <laughs> always going to be there. It's, it's not like somebody's going to say, hey, you know, all that, this game was invented at a time when they didn't have squares. Yeah, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> squares have always been around. Uh, what is it about Tetris? It's that, I mean, it's that feeling of, like, you feel like you can always do a little better. I feel like that's so much of it is just like, you're, you feel your skills improving every time, and it's got this feeling of like, I can go again, feel it. And, and it's, I don't know, you, you guys have probably heard all is the that, Is that a game, isn't that a, a general thing about a game? A good game. <laughs> a good, okay, fine, a good game. Yeah. Yeah, so there are a number of games which don't have, any, where there's no skill involved. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my background is role playing games. There's no skill involved. You have to put in the time, right. and your character will develop, and your character will kick ass at the right. end of the day. But Tetris, there is no character that does anything for like you. You're the, you're, the you're the one. You're, you're the, the guy who's yeah. got to do all that. Yeah, you're Good the job on yeah, the, the mic. Your mic. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, yeah, that, that's the beauty of uh, Tetris is, and you know, like I think games that I enjoy is like I can feel myself improving, and it's not just numbers going up. Like uh, I don't know if you guys have you played Spelunky. Spelunky. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Spelunky? It's this indie game uh, came out for Xbox and also PC. Um, and it's, do um, you know the term roguelike? Roguelike. Roguelike. We're old people. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but basically, it's um, you start, you have this little character, he looks like Indiana Jones, and you're exploring this cave, but the cave is randomly generated every single time you play. Yeah. Uh, and it's incredibly punishing. So if you know, you've got like three health and you get hit by a snake, it's one, minus one, you get hit by a snake. No, 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 you no. fall on spikes, you're dead. You know, like, Sounds familiar, okay. Yeah, it's just like super, it's, you know, permadeath. Okay. So the moment that you die, it wipes all of your progress. You have to go back to the beginning okay. and it generates a new cave. Okay. When you're playing through the game, it's not like there's a level that you're memorizing, you're getting better at that level. You're getting better at the system and you yourself are improving. And, and Splunky is one of these recent indie games that's already, like, it's less mass appeal because it's a controller and it's you know very yeah, it's kind yeah, of a nerdy yeah, game, yeah, but sure. but it's like it's has this lasting effect and people are still talking about it after it's been out for like five years. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it reminds me of uh, I, I had a it happening when Nintendo first mastered up 
uh, Game Boy Tetris. They sent it to me on Friday. And so we all test played it. And I said, the pieces are not random. And I told my guys to, to count the pieces. And, you know, are, you know, what's the deal? And one of the pieces, I don't know, S or Z, was coming yeah. up twice as much as the rest of the oh, pieces. Really? It was really that obvious. And I said, this is not acceptable. We can't, we can't publish the game if the pieces are not random. Because mm -hmm. the fact that they're random is, is integral to the game. It's part of the skill. And what it told me is that Nintendo didn't have a random number generator. What? Because <laughs> Mario is not random. Uh, no, well, no, no, the a, game required it. No, yeah. the re games require a random. Funny. It's a pseudo num ra random number generator. And when you go through the same sequence and go through the same, same the same thing happens to you wow. over and over and over again. Oh no! And so uh, the, I, I said it's not going to pass. And they sent guys out to my office in Yokohama from Kyoto. It's the first time I got a Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> they sent those guys, the programmer and the producer, they came over and we, we spent Saturday working out a random number generator. Oh, wow. It was very simple. It was on the first go around, one is one, and this next go around, one is two, and you know, just add one yeah. to each, so that it spread out that, that bump on one of the pieces through, through all the pieces, which um, meant okay. they're random. Yeah, cool. Fine. So then we had a we, we we checked it and it was random fine, but I mean it was just so obvious that all the other games that had happened up till then no random. were not <laughs> random. Yeah, yeah. And now we have a game that is completely random, and yeah. which means that if you if a situation arises, it's a situation that's never happened before. I mean, or or the number is astronomical anyway. And so, so you're not playing anything by memory, and that that is a pleasure center because exactly. you're making decisions. You're not doing anything. It's like it's not it's not rope. when you think about it. You know, little children until they're about six or seven years old don't mind to watch the same video over and over and over again. They watch it ten, twenty times. You want to see that one again? Okay, sure. We when we channel surf, if we change to a channel which has something that we've seen before, it's seconds. Not even like a second before we say, no, I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see it. And you zone out. You want to see something else. Mm -hmm. And so that is kind of captured in Tetris. So you're never going to see something that you've seen before. I remember a funny story about that. Uh, not even random generator was important for Tetris, but even the seed of this random generator was important. And I did the special effort to get the generator generate a little bit more random number of numbers before the game starts. Right. So I did this kind of advertisement of the name and uh, I start the ra random generator I in it. And it depends when you hit and start oh, the really? game, you have the random seed because, because when I put the random, uh, the same random seed, there. It was the same pattern. Yeah, it it was not exactly the same, but 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 people did complain. Oh, I see. But it maybe you know at some point we 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 toying with the idea of of doing it the other way of having a number sequence which is taken from somewhere else. And there's two sources that I've thought about that would be interesting. One is SETI data, <laughs> the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Speaking so it's aliens. coming. I mean, it's just basically white noise that they find. And white noise is a random number generator. Uh, and the other one is uh, our genetic code. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's tons and tons of random numbers in there, or numbers oh, yeah. in there, which don't, we don't know what it means. Right, right. And so you uh, just be playing yeah. human. Like so you're, you're playing. playing, so yeah, you could play your parents, <laughs> play whatever, you know. <laughs> and no, we do not, uh, I remember this very clearly. I was uh, at a car rental place. This is in the days when Game Boy just came out, and the guy, you know, we are talking, waiting for my car, and he says, you know, yeah, I have something to do with Tetris. And he says, ah, oh, yeah, I hate that game. When I'm playing, it, like, knows I need the eyepiece, and it just doesn't give it to me. I said, the pieces are random. He says, nope. <laughs> I definitely knows. It knows what I need, and it doesn't give it to me. I said, the, I'm pretty sure the pieces are random. I, I, I get <laughs> the same exact, to do with it. I get the same exact, you know, like a one can show up here or here and it shows up in the exact opposite place. Yeah. They are convinced, it's, I programmed it, I'm reading the board, yeah. I'm finding the least optimal place for this piece to show up and I'm sending it there. Yeah. I'm so like, no, it's like a hundred, it's totally random. It's, it's very interesting and I and think that's how we it. discovered, yeah. this, discover God in computer games. Yeah. Is it's actually random, but actually people detect 
something in there. I think, I think we can yeah. wrap it up. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, thank, you. thank you. It's very nice meeting you. Yeah, thank nice you. It's an honor you meeting you. Good luck yeah. with your trees. I, I, I looked for it and uh, I, my, my, my finder didn't find it. So all I got is gift yeah. trees. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, okay. I, I, will, I, I will check it out. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah, I will. Definitely. Thank you so much. But uh, again, for your game, mm -hmm. decoration oh, yeah. dress yeah. is important. It, Not for yeah, my game, yeah, yeah. for your game. It is important, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that you could, with, 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 uh, with very nice sound. This is what we get. You should play my game. You should play my version, Scott. It's okay, okay. It's full okay. of it. Okay. It's full of it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Very nice meeting you. Yeah, thank nice you so much. Hey, thank you as well. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely.